If you want to have a perfectly flat heatbed for your Prusa 3D printer, then I will show you how can you reach that with the Nylock mod. All you need is 8 M3 nylon nuts, optionally 8 washers, and the Raspberry Pi with Octoprint. This video was sponsored by GSE PCB. Order your custom made PCBs for a very good price. Check out their homepage for more details. Let's start with the heatbed preassembly. Because some of the washers has different sides as you can see here, one side has sharper edges and the other one is more round and we would like to be able to turn the screw with the nylon nut on for later adjustments. That is why I will use the sharper side facing to the heatbed. The nylon nut goes on with the flat side first because the other side has the nylon part which not let the screw loosen with the vibrations. That is why it's called nylon nut and this modification is nylon mod. After all screws are prepared I use my drill set up with the lowest torque to quickly pre-tighten the nylon nut. If you do not have the torque adjustment option I would not recommend to use power tools for this job because you can damage the screws and the heat bed. In the following step I will loose them up a little bit to be able to turn them without extensive force, otherwise you would most probably damage the Allen key head of the screws later. After everything set up you can place the middle spacer and put the prepared heat pad onto it. Take care to screw all screws around 1-2 turns maximum after each other in multiple runs to avoid bending the heat bed too much. As you can see the original spacer has a 6mm height so if you take a 6mm allen key you can use it to set up the gap around this distance so we get more or less the same result as it would be with the spacers. This will be the initial state for the later adjustments. And now you can fully tighten the middle screw and then we can continue with the calibration process. So after we turned on the printer, connected with the Raspberry Pi and install the octoprint you will need a plugin and you can see here if you type the prusa you will get the prusa leveling guide and after you installed it you can go to this page and there's an online guide where you can also see how to set up the nilock mod and you also can preheat your printer, use the PLE or PTG profiles. If you want to use another temperature, you can make it on your Octoprint temperature page. I will calibrate my bed without the heating now, just to be more quicker. Here you can choose between row values, degrees, decimal turns or fraction turns. I will use a protractor ruler and that's why I will choose the degrees. So after we reach that point, we can just click on to the begin adjusting. And then the printer will make a nine point mesh leveling. And when it's finished, we'll give back the values. I'm curious how much our bed varies with our manual setup with the Allen key. Okay, so the bed variance is 0 0.7 almost seven millimeter. And you can see here all the values. So I'm going to the printer and following the instructions. So here is my little ruler and the Allen key. So taking off the heat bed steel sheet, I will start from the right button and this is 441 degrees. So I go one full circle, 360 degrees, and then we have to Additionally, turn 80 degrees more. So, one full circle and then and use 80 more. Okay, one and go to 19, 28, 180 first, and then we still need 66. Around. 
and the last one is eight. After we finish the adjustment, we can place back the steel sheet and run again the calibration with the click of the continue. Okay, 0 0.15, it's much better. Repeat it. Okay, <laughs> not bad. I normally stop here because this is already a really good result. You can see that it's a green color. But now, just because of the video, I do one more round. So the third round coming. <laughs> you see, it's not much of an improvement. If we check not the degrees, but decimal turns, how much? So one is one full circle. How much do you need to turn the screws? It's a really little. And I believe that even between two measurements, we'll have some differences because the pinda is also not so precise, I think, but we will see. You see, we got now a little bit different. Okay, I do one more round just because I'm curious. So let's see what we made. Continue. I hope it will be 0 0.02 and oh! cool I will let it so that's a good result I think if you make this mod please post in the comment section what was your best result? I'm curious. So now, if you check the row values, I think these are millimeters and you can see that it's really a small one. Good. One more point. I will test one printer with the serial spacers. What does it give back? If it's better, I don't think so. I think it will be around 0 0.5 millimeters for the bed variance, but we will see. Okay, now we swap the printer. I'm connecting to this one. And let's see what are the results. My original Prusa was also modded for this Nilok mod two years ago. It still works really fine. Yes, as you can see. And you cannot really adjust anything here because all the screws are fully tight. Is it worth it or not with the mesh bed leveling? I think it's better to be on a flat side. I like it more. It's not that complicated as you saw to change the screws and also not a big investment. It's up to you to make it or not. I think I will say goodbye now. Oh, and happy printing. I almost forgot it.